So I wanted to make this quick tutorial to show you how you can get some more percussive sound out of your Korg Electra. There are already very good sample based um, sounds on the unit itself, but you know, this can get these can get really boring at some point and you might find yourself searching for more percussive sound. So one way to deal with that is actually to use the synth engine and take one of the oscillators, let's say the sine wave, and if we take the pitch all the way down, and then in the modulation we choose the envelope plus to affect the pitch, then essentially what we're doing here, we're making the pitch start very high and then go very low to the setting that we define here in the pitch, which give us a percussive sound, and the speed here define how fast this will happen. So if I put the volume a bit higher, so it's already sound percussive. And if we go all the way to the right and we make the envelope very fast, we get some sort of a kick sound. Now to really make it sound like a kick, we can also change the amplitude to be a decay and not a sustain. And then if I play that, and you can really hear how the sine oscillator becoming a kick. And this is the analog way to produce a synth kick, actually. We can get something more that closer, let's say, to the TR909, the Roland TR909, if we put this sort of settings. But if we put less modulation, slower speed we get something that is close to the TR-808 kind of kick. Another cool way to give the sound even more character is to use one of the built-in insert effects. So what I like to do is take something like the overdrive and then put three high settings and then it sounds really like a beefier kick. from the same concept all sorts of percussion sound maybe something that is more like a tom you know or if you choose some different oscillator like a triangle you can have something more pluck and a bit pluckier if you change the decay as well maybe adding some distortion some master effect. And let's change this one into a reverb. Let's do something here like a techno. So what I'm doing here, I'm changing the length of the pattern. And then we have something very similar to like a polyrhythm. If I put a kick next to it, and let's do the same concept, choosing, and choose another sine wave. oscillators we're not using the samples so we can shape the sound to be something more unique for us if we wish to let's say I want the kick to be maybe more broadcast like that
more of a decay. Yeah, so you can see you can use the built-in oscillator, the modulation and some of the effects to get all sort of very cool percussive sounds. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and let me know in the comments what you think and if you'd like to learn some other stuff on the Korg Electribe.